Next, what we want to do is we want to get all of our expressions, eye movements, blinks, and mouth, all of our morph targets down into the timeline. Now, by default, the timeline should be showing the animation timeline, but if it's not, go up to Window, Panes, and then down here you'll find Timeline, and just select that and it'll open up the timeline for you. The next thing we need to do, we're going to need more than 30 frames, so go down here in this box here and type in 140. So that'll expand out and it'll give us 140 frames to work with. Now we're not going to be creating an animation for use. The purpose is just to get the morph targets into the animation so that we can then export it as an FBX file to be used in Unreal Engine. So this process is kind of uh, boring and, and tedious. Let's click on the mouth here. So as we go through this, if you want to speed up the video or you just want to skip ahead, feel free to do that. But it is tedious, but it has to be done correctly. Otherwise, it's going to mess up and it's not going to work. So I'm going to go very slowly and um, explain, you know, as we go along. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving ahead five frames for each position. So we're going to start off here on our mouth tab in the neutral position here. And then we're going to move our cursor in the animation timeline ahead five frames in between 0 and 10. And then we're going to go over here and click on the mouth open position. When you do that, you'll notice that Daz Studio has automatically created a keyframe for you. You can see by the little black notch icon down there. Now we want to move the cursor ahead to frame 10. Go back up into our puppeteer screen or segment here and click on the closed mouth position. Now let's move our cursor ahead five frames again and let's click on the smile control and we have a smile keyframe. Move it forward to the frame 20 back to the default position. So we always want to go back to the default position in between. Move the cursor ahead five frames Click on the frown control, move ahead to frame 30, click on the default position again. Move ahead 5 frames, click on the puckered lips position, then frame 40, and back to the default position. So as we slide the cursor, we can see that our character, our character is moving through the motions that we have. So we have all those the way we want it. Those are all in the timeline correctly. Next, we want to click on the Blink tab. Make sure that the, the um, default position, Eyes Wide Open, is selected. Go to the Timeline cursor, move ahead five frames and then go back into the puppeteer click on the closed eyes position move ahead to frame 50 back to the default open eyes position move ahead five frames again and then select the eyes wide open where her eyes are really wide move the cursor ahead to frame 60 and then back to the default position. So now we have all of our blink positions here. Next we want to go to the eye movement where our side to side and our up and down eye movements and we want to get those into the timeline. So again starting with the default position here move our cursor ahead five frames in the timeline and let's select the eyes to the right position first. Move the cursor to frame 70 and then back to the middle. Move ahead five frames. Eyes to the left position. Move the cursor to frame 80. Back to the middle position. Move ahead five frames. 
click on the eyes looking up move forward to frame 90 click on the eyes looking forward five frames ahead eyes looking down and then to frame 100 back to the default position of eyes looking straight ahead okay now we have all of our eye movements and just to check let's scrub through our timeline we can see that her eyes are looking around their side to side up and down to frame 100 now last we want to go to our expressions move the cursor ahead five frames we're in the default no expression mode here the default position let's go to the right and select this expression move forward to frame 110 back to the middle position five frames forward and let's choose the left expression here go to frame 120 click the default middle position again five frames forward click the expression at the top five frames forward back to the middle position five frames forward for our last expression here at the bottom and then five frames forward to the end and we're back in the default face position no expression now down here let's just click on the play button and we can see that it's going through all of these different expressions mouth positions eye positions blinks and so on so we have everything in here that we want and again this isn't for an animation to be used in unreal engine although i should say right here that if you did want to take time uh, creating an animation in Daz Studio that looks really good. You could do it and then export that as an animation that would um, import into Unreal Engine flawlessly. So you could use this as your, your facial animation tool as well. Okay, so that looks all good. Make sure that you go up and you save your scene so that you save all your hard work in case your computer, your program crashes or something like that. And that is it for this video module. In the next video, we're going to go over how we prepare the FBX file so that we can export all of these um, um, animations and morph sliders.